welcome to 808 Crawler Customs. Today we got the Chevy Suburban with the any level lift on it. Or if you want to get real specific, servo lift. So I'm going to showcase this. Show you guys how I built this today. Yeah, check that out. So I got four servos all in total, well five servos excuse me, all in total inside this vehicle. I have oh, sit good. I got one servo to each shock tower, well each shock excuse me. It pretty much becomes the new shock tower. So I just, every vehicle is different. Different shock towers, different mountings. There's two servos here, they reversed. Well, they look reversed, but they actually have to be like this due to the way they operate. When they're side by side, they both spin the same way. To where as this one in the back, they're in like identical position to where I guess this one spins in a reverse direction. So if you were to turn it both right and line them up side by side and turn it right, both of them would go in the opposite direction. So it allowed me to make these in the back, I guess, parallel to each other. Don't mind all the zip ties. It needs to be, that was the, that was my best fix. There was, there was not really any place to mount those servos in the back to allow this to work. Um, and then also, I added Y harness in the back for my trailer. This is my this is my tow rig that I'm gonna use to pull my boat trailer that I have back there. Yeah. And then so this is the connect for the lights on the trailer. I have another Y harness here connecting right off the receiver for the body light kit that I just recently installed. I mean nothing special, just some green lights in the front. Kind of matches the theme, I guess. And then I made a little underglow tube um, out of a straw. Use the straw, put two green lights on each end, um, tuck the wires as best as possible, and soldered the two ends together. Made me a little wire, a lighting kit for this body. Um, the, the rear side don't come with buckets for the, the tail lights, but I used I used some other things that I found around. I put a piece of Lexan in there to make it look like there was a, I guess a lens or a housing in there. Um, it had the red sticker. Just left everything as is on the body and I just added on a couple other um, housings. I just super hot glued them on there. I guess still, we'll see how long it lasts. But it fairly good for the Chevy Vatera body that don't come with the housings. In the light, in the, in the daytime, you can't really see them, but in the dark, they, they look really good. And I have a loom here, pretty much hiding the ton of wires. This thing's stuffed to the gills. You need zip ties to hold it together. Kind of pops open. Turn this this way, you'll be able to see. It's just fully loaded. I trimmed up these wires here, made this wire to the ESC a little shorter due to wires already being packed in the loom couldn't fit it <laughs> would have had to find some other way so this was the best fix make them shorter connect straight to the battery I also have these these tires are actually from the Vatera Ascender that comes stock with the Chevy Suburban body but they're not white, I just spray painted them back. black, quick kind. They look pretty, pretty good on this. And this chassis that I built this on is a Red Cat Gen 8. It was um, the Hobbywing Axe Edition is the body up there. The body is too clunky for me, a little bit top heavy, kind of big. It looked really good if you're just doing a normal trail run, not really heavy rock crawling. But 
yeah, I'll, I'll find I'll find a use for that guy up there later. So yeah, I took I took his chassis, <laughs> I took all its electronics out, and I put it in my rig there, my other rig, excuse me. And I took the stock red cap motor, threw it in here, a 550. Um, I guess you can consider this an upgraded servo on, on the cheaper end. Good enough to do what I needed it to do. And 220 kilograms here, 120 kilogram here, and a stock servo from, I think that was from my team associate. It's 112 scale. But yeah, check this out. So I connected them. Um, Two servos to one Y harness to one channel on the remote so you can select left or right to be your front or back I have it I have my left side front my right side back and the, the button has a real long range and there's not a lot of space in here so let's see if I can like that's really like it's stopping point so I just kind of etched out some extra extra markings on here to know where my stopping point is but I can just go off a look and how how it looks when it's when it's rolling around but it was fairly easy it's fairly easy to make you just need all the servos kind of and it's a little twitchy I don't know why maybe maybe I don't want to be all the way at its lowest point I don't know but it looks it it works really well I like the way. Well, if you guys liked what you see, hit that like hit that like button and that subscribe button so you can check out more of my content. Um, I I'll try to have a video up every day for you guys, or almost every other day. I think my battery is dying, that's why it's acting up a little bit. Don't mind it. <laughs> but yeah, um, I hope you like my any level lift. I call it an any level lift, but we can call it a servo lift. From my suburban here. Yep. Looks almost identical to how any level lift in real life looks. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thank you. Come on.